excellent job, outstanding. Um, you know, sometimes you come here, it's easy to, to see folk, you know, winning. You see Collis and you see the guys that are uh, winning real, real well. And you think, well, maybe they have some franchise own knowledge or some access to some great spot that you don't have. There is nothing more powerful than a made up mind. And see, God don't torture us. But you can live and die and never question what you got around you. There is no place in this universe, outside of Earth, where you can make your dreams come true. No place. And on this planet, Earth, you can be a lot of places. You can, we just got back from Punta Cana. Now, there was a little cocoon inside of that resort, but outside of that, you're not born into the right caste system. I don't care how you dream. You can't socially climb. And why did God save you for this precious place, America? Well, you see it, you can be it. You know, a lot of things you learn in kindergarten. You know, they we used to see this little Latin lamp. When you're rubbing it, your wishes can come true. That's reality in America, but you rub it with your work in. And whatever you see, you can be. But your work ethic is what you rub it with. And so you gotta, you think we come here and we pushing to sell you on Prime America? And we bring Collis and guys like that to come in and sell you on Prime America? If that's your assessment, you're wrong. We come here, we fly folk in to sell them on you, sell you on you. So you know that dream in your heart, that's what God has for you. Your dreams are a photograph, a picture of your finished future. And everything you need is around you and inside of you to win. You don't find a shark in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Because God got everything he needs around him to survive. You don't find a camel in the middle of the ocean. Where you are, God has everything around you and your dreams are informed by your environment. So the, the dreams you have are available. But you gotta decide for once in your life. Yes, you what, what if you chase your dream and you catch it? My mother and my mother watched a soap opera. Sorry. It's called One Life to Live. That's a summary, a summation of your life. You don't have two, you got one. And folk will tell you a cat has nine and lies. That's a lie. <laughs> I also want to get run over one. <laughs> he got one and you got one. <laughs> but you got to say, you're going to make the best use of what you got. You hold an acorn in your hand. It said, words of oak tree. God made his future inside of it. You hold a caterpillar in your hand and say, words of butterfly. His future right there housed inside of. When God holds you in his hand, where's your future? It's inside of you. And you'll say what God has for me is for me. You're right. What God got for an acorn is for an acorn. But it's a seed. Put it on a shelf for 10, 20, 30 years. It will never open up what God has for it. But you're too time sensitive. You can't stay on the shelf 20, 30 years. Because your most copious, abundant place to go to dream of the cemetery. Folk had their dream to the grave with them. I saw Jimmy Kimmel the night. I saw Mike Tyson. Iron Mike Tyson. Very great. He ain't iron no more. He cut. <laughs> <laughs> now, had he not seized the moment, he gave his story boxing now. Same DNA. Y'all trying to wait to get all the store boxes. It's time since. See, my, uh, I'm from a small town right down the road, Truro, Texas. And see, everything you know you need to win is in you. Some of y'all think you gotta get something extra. What you got, you, what you need, you got. And my stepfather's mother had 21 children. 
20 natural births, one twin. There was always something going on. <laughs> so I'm at home. I'm at home one day. I got an uncle of mine. His name is Donnell. Donnell always got something to say. And Donnell came out of the house. I knew it was Donnell. Because Donnell don't never knock on the door. He knocks on the window. <laughs> so I come outside. I said, Daddy, I tell you to stop coming here and selling crap, man. But see, I learned before I chase him off, he to ask the right question. What you got? <laughs> Yo, that was some good stuff, right? So I go out to the truck. I said, Daddy, I don't have a car. He ride with somebody. <laughs> and he got two guys that ride with, they don't look suspect, they were suspect. <laughs> they looking around like two nervous squirrels. <laughs> and then I got on a truck, a washer and a dryer with the tags on. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to stop buying stuff and done it, right? Put the tags on. And before I chase him off, I had to ask a question. What you need on this, Donnell? <laughs> Donnell said $25 a piece. So I go to sweat. Because I was going to run him off. I said, look here, Donnell. Now we all look around like nervous squirrel, right? I said, look here, man. Go on, tap that one around to the back. <laughs> Out for Donnell. Well, if he just said $20, he was out of, I stuck to him a gun. But $25, I got compassion. You understand know what I'm saying? Right? See, Donnell tried to come up, right? And the truth is, man, I'll try to come up too. Right? So we go around to the back. And I get done on this $50. I'm coming here with no crap, man, all right? <laughs> and you saw a walk. I said, hold up, darling. Find something good, huh, then? Now, Darnell finally got his life. It was crazy. We kept that wash and dry for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Darnell finally got his life on track. <laughs> Then I got him a, a good job. Then I found a job as an engineer. Donnell was the engineer of sanitation. Trash <laughs> man. <laughs> now y'all ain't on trash man. The trash man come up with some good stuff. So see, when, see, Donnell don't have no car. So the first day on the job, they do orientation. Then they have no ride. See. And uh, they told him on orientation, whatever you don't bring to work, don't leave with it. Then I missed that. <laughs> so one day we outside, it's mid-July, Texas, 100 degree weather, and an accident happened in terms of a big popsicle ice cream truck turned over. We all want access but then they don't have no car. And so, you see, ice cream is time sensitive. <laughs> now, there are some leadership lessons that you can learn according to <laughs> <laughs> So we sit outside and we see a cloud of smoke. And somebody hitting a horn real hard. So we all looking at where our attention is there. And when the smoke moved back, our car appeared. Two-tone vehicle. Half dense, half rust. <laughs> it's Donnell. <laughs> Donnell Road. See, leadership lesson number one, according to Donnell, you got to make it happen. <laughs> you can't make no excuse in the big league. 
See, ice cream is time sensitive. So Donnell pulled out. Now, Donnell, he eating ice cream. He got boxes on the front seat, back seat, no air in the car. <laughs> ice cream melting, he riding and eating. <laughs> See, some of y'all make a lot of excuses. You'll win if it's convenient. But you gotta decide, you're gonna not make excuses, you're gonna make it happen. You can't make excuses to make money at the same time. See, leadership lesson number two, according to Darnell. See, Darnell riding in a, in a, a stick ship. He got a possible on each hand changing gear. <laughs> See, you gotta own what you share. Some of y'all don't even have life insurance. You trying to sell something you don't own. You trying to sell something you don't want. See, Darnell wanted what he was sharing. So he rolled. See, leadership lesson number three, according to Darnell. You got to know your market. See, Darnell rolled up on Little Mother. Little Mother's got 21 children that love ice cream. See, some of y'all trying to sell folk that need it but don't want it. When Darnell came by my house, he came by my house. He didn't try to sell or wash and dry an apartment complex. So do you know your market? And see, little mother is his mother. He went to his warm market first. <clears throat> see, some of y'all think you're trying to learn something. What you need to know to win is inside of you already. You got to make up your mind and get urgent. Free, see, free. the popsicles are on the ground, and they have a short lifespan in 100-degree weather. You ain't got time to keep messing around. Right. You got to be urgent. <coughs> Leadership lesson number four, according to Darnell. See, Darnell rolled up on Sweet Thing. <laughs> now, Sweet Thing got excited. And she got to get excited and get other folk excited. That's right. So, Darnell was excited as he was eating his ice cream. And he gave her five boxes. She got excited. And so when she got excited, she gave her girlfriends some ice cream. They got excited. She ain't got time to get ready. You got to be ready. Right. You saw sisters putting on wigs like baseball caps. <laughs> some on backwards, some sideways, some not too far. They ain't got no time to get ready. Some of y'all too quick to go win. They ain't got to have it just right. The ice cream is on the ground. And it's time sensitive. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got time to keep screwing around. <laughs> Leadership lesson number five, according to Donnell. You got to recruit. So there's nothing wrong with your dream. You're probably trying to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Then I rolled up on Pee Wee. He gave Pee Wee five boxes. He got Pee Wee recruited and Pee Wee rolled up on Bug. Gave Bug five boxes. See, some of y'all are too selfish to win. Uh -huh. See, Donnell, he didn't get out get it for himself. There's enough for everybody. He immediately went and shared what he was excited about. You can't win a team sport as an individual. That's right. There's enough for you to share. And some of y'all are trying to win in isolation. You get romance by your own ability. LeBron James arguably to be the best. You take LeBron James by himself. You take, what's your name, sister? Erica. Stand up, Erica. You take Erica. You take, stand up, Jan. You take Jan, all right? <laughs> you take, stand up, Jerry Red. You take Jerry Red. Those three will be LeBron James through he's by himself. So look here, you stand up under the goal, sweetheart. <laughs> you stand up under the goal, right? You stand here in the center. Jerry, you stand up to the right. Now, this is the game plan. When LeBron James attack you, Jan, you stay cute, right? You <laughs> stand all over to my sister right here, right? And you keep a little cute, the guy loud. You got to stand like just like that, right? When he charged, you throw it to Jerry. You ain't worried your knees, Jerry. Just don't click the up on him, right? <laughs> now, LeBron is a chained up dog but he can't win 
to find himself. One more guy gonna kill y'all. By himself, he can't win. Ricky out of LeBron James' ability, but you're doing it by yourself. And the average guy is a fee. You got to recruit and create, get layers of recruits. Sit down. Thank you. Get him in. Now, that ain't going to no leadership class. He couldn't get no extra coaching. Everything he needed was inside of him. Your dreams are formed by your environment. Leadership lesson number six, according to Donnell. You got to be urgent. Y'all done rolled up on poo poo. <laughs> See, go get your mom. Diane got excited. And see, within 30 minutes, it was like a caravan of ants head to the dump ground. Because the ice cream is on the ground. You ain't got time to keep waiting. Leadership lesson number seven, according to Diane. You got to know your purpose and know your task. That's right. See, in prime America, work is doing an appointment, a set, setting an appointment, or doing an appointment. See, Donnell was tax focused. We can't wait until tomorrow to get the ice cream. See, if you ask what the opportunity cost is, you know, the real question is, what's the missed opportunity cost? You can miss it. So you know I got to be focused on what I'm focused on. We need to get and gather. We got out to the dump ground like we rolled up on a on a, a, a family reunion. Folk put ice cream in the front seat, back seat, trunk. Every day I made ice cream for months. Because the ice cream was on the ground. See, Donnell ain't been in the leadership class. Donnell got urgent. Everything he needed was inside of him. Everything he needed was inside of you too. You gotta for once in your life get excited about your future and stop making excuses. I understand. See, see, see the ice cream truck turned over. See, the ice cream truck is primary. And the ice cream's on the ground. Your dreams on the ground. You can say, well, you have plenty of time because the primary is strong. But do you have plenty of time? One car wreck, one sickness, one life crisis deals off the table. You can't grab the ice cream no more. You got to get focused. You got to get urgent. See, your RVP contract is on the ground. Your ring is on the ground. Your diamond movement is on the ground. Your going to six and seven figures is on the ground. All of your dreams are on the ground. Everything you need is around you. What you need to win is inside of you. You got to put once in your life, wake up and decide, I'm going to get urgent. I'm going to stop screwing around. I'm going to stop messing around. Because you wake up and the ice cream will melt. And in folk age with the opportunity cost, the real question is, what's the missed opportunity cost? Get urgent. We brought calls in for one reason, to get you focused, get you urgent. Carl said a minute ago he had his blinders on. He knew the ice cream was on the ground. And the question we got for you, are you going to decide this weekend, are you going to decide to believe in what God put inside of you? He don't torture his children. There's only one place you're going to live to level your dream, and that's here on this planet. That's right. Why did God save you for now? You could have been born in some bush in Australia. Right time, wrong place. You could have been born in America in 1700. Right place, wrong time. Why do he hold you for this most precious of all times? That's right. And then, you know, and, and give you a, a vehicle like Prime America. God has to have something to bless you through. Right. To bless you through. You can work hard at McDonald's. Hard work ain't enough. That's an ingredient to success. It ain't the recipe to it. You got to have the right environment. And I'll focus with you this weekend is to step up inside of yourself and decide for once in your life you say I'm going to see how good I can be because you chase your dream you might catch because the ice cream is on the ground.